In today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can add a video gallery to our WordPress site. This is obviously an effective way of showing your videos, but it also comes up with a very nice display that you can customize for all your users. From your plugin section, search for video gallery. From here, head over to the video gallery, best WordPress YouTube gallery plugin. Go ahead, install and then activate. The video gallery plugin is very easy to customize. Simply come over to the TS video gallery, but you've got two options. One's going to be to view all your galleries or to add a gallery. You can also come to all galleries to then add one. We currently have one added here. If you don't, simply head up to create gallery. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Here you get to choose from one of the many free themes that they have. Find the theme you want to use, then click on use theme. This is the page where you can simply add your videos into your gallery. Your first one is going to also be found on the list up here. Go ahead to the pencil marker to edit the first one. Here's where you can edit the title, the description, you can add a new target link and choose whether you want it to open as a new tab. Now it's time to add the actual video to the gallery. I'm going to head over to our channel and choose from one of the videos. So from the video go ahead and copy the URL. Back onto here we're going to click onto the video under the add video section. I'm going to paste in the URL on here. Just making sure that we have the insert from URL selected. Then go ahead to insert post. As you can see that's now switched over to our video. One of the interesting things that you can do here is you can also switch over the thumbnail image. You can insert it from URL or go ahead and select an image from your library. As default, we will use the default thumbnail from YouTube. Just at the top right here, we can then go click back to video. Perfect, so that's how we add our first video. I'm going to go ahead and just add a few more videos to our gallery using the same method. If you click on add new video and it's showing this screen again just make sure to click on insert from URL and then add in your URL. If you do of course have your video hosted on your website you can select from video. However it's going to take up a lot of space hosting each and every video on your website. So it's preferred to use ways like this where you can host it on other places like YouTube on Vimeo and simply display it on your website. Awesome, so I've got three videos added to my library. Next we can go to the styles option to make sure that we have a nice style and set it up just how we want to be displayed. You have a number of options here on the right hand side. In the general option you can do things like change the length, border, shadow, the shadow color, etc. Next we have our hover options which gives you different sort of effects. Choose the effect that you prefer and the overlay color. In your title options you can choose whether to show your title or not, the color of the title, the length and the font family. As well as that, you can also choose the background color. Moving on to description options. You can either show the description or choose not to show the description entirely. You can customize the style of the line after line with the color or the length. The link option, including the text, length, color, font family, and either hover colors. For your pop-up options, you can choose the color, the length, the border style, whether it's going to be dotted, solid, dashed, none, the color, and again, the pop-up effect. Here's where you can also choose whether to autoplay videos. For the link in pop-up, you can then choose the text that's displayed, the length, border style, border, length, background color, the color, font family, and pretty much every other style that you might want to change. Pop-up options is interesting because here you will or might need to change the background colors. As in the first part of the video, when you click on the video, it opens up as a pop-up and it has a background color behind it. Pop-up options where you're going to be able to change the background color for that. Again, you can change all the styles for the link in the pop-up, the title in the pop-up, and the icons in the pop-up as well. Once you're happy with the style of your video gallery, you can then come over to pagination and load more. Here you're going to get the options whether you want it to be all of your videos, whether you want it paginated so they have to click through one by one, or whether you want it simply to just load more after the first video. I'm going to leave it as all for now. Once you're happy with the style and all the videos that you have on here, go ahead and save your gallery. Once saved, you want to come over to the shortcode option. Here you can go and name the video gallery title and get two of the shortcodes. I'm going to be using the shortcode that's going to go directly onto the WordPress page or post. You also get a shortcode if you want to paste it directly into the template file. Just be careful doing this because sometimes you can muck up your website if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm just going to go for the simple shortcode. With that copied, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new page. Here I'm going to choose the shortcode block and then paste my shortcode into the shortcode area. Now let's go ahead and preview this page. Just like that we have our video gallery. We can now click it and check out the style that we chose and of course view the video itself. Everything's very nicely automated and it depends on the theme that you've chosen to what automation and what happens. It has quite a number of themes and they all look really great. 
So just take a little look through and just find the theme that suits you first before getting started. 